Okay, welcome back. In this video, what I'm going to do is take a moment to show you the interface of XSI and pretty much introduce you to some of the most common and some of the most important interface elements that we're going to be using during the course of this tutorial. It's very important for you to familiarize yourself with this because we're going to be using these menu items, well, a lot. So here we go. The first one you need to notice is over here on the left of the interface. This is the model main toolbar or the main toolbar which is right now in model mode. How do I know this? Well, each mode in XSI shows us a different color to visually show us very quickly and easily what mode we're on. Different modes in XSI include modeling, rendering, animation, simulation, as well as hair. So if I click over here where it says model and this little black arrow is located, you get a submenu and this submenu shows you the different colors and the different modes of Softimage XSI. The shortcuts to reach these modes are also listed over here on the right of their menu name. So for example, the shortcut to go to model mode is 1, the shortcut for animate is 2, and so on and so forth. So instead of using this menu up here, we can use the 1 key, 2, 3, 4, or control 2 for hair. Okay, we're going to be sticking to model mode because that's what we're going to be doing during this tutorial. This is a sub-D modeling tutorial, hence why we're going to stick with modeling. Now the main toolbar has pretty much all the main tools you need in order to modify and create models inside of Softimage XSI. So you can think of it as a large toolbox when you're going to work on your car in your garage and uh, maybe do some tuning to your hot rod or whatever car you have. Okay, so here you would have tools to create, to modify objects that are already created or get primitive objects or pre-made objects that you can go ahead and use to start modeling very quickly and easily. The other part of the interface which is pretty important is up here in the main menu bar. If you'll notice we have the model menu, animate, render, simulate, and hair menus all conveniently located up here. Now these menus it's very important to note that these are exact replicas of the menus that are located here in the main toolbar. So why in the world are there two? what's well, for flexibility and convenience. By having these two menus, it means you can use two different modes in exercise simultaneously. For example, we can have the main toolbar set to model mode, and then up here in the main menu bar, we can activate the animation tools, which are right here, instead of having to switch from one to another. We can just quickly get access to any tools that we need. You'll also notice that menus, such as these up here in the main menu bar, have this dashed line right here on the top, with a scissors icon. If you click on that, what it does is tear off the menu and now you have a floating menu which you can click and drag anywhere you want and you can do that easily simply by left clicking and dragging on the name bar of that little floating window toolbar. So now what I can do is I can tear off my animate menu and I could use it simultaneously with my model menu here in the main toolbar. This makes it very convenient and easy to use multiple menus simultaneously and have faster access to them. Okay, the next thing I want to show you is the construction mode. If you click up here where it says modeling construction mode, you open up another submenu. Here you have four options for different construction modes. We have modeling construction mode, shape modeling, animation, and secondary shape mode. So what do these different construction modes do? Essentially what they do is give you a lot of power with Softimage XSI's non-linear and non-destructive workflow. But since we're not going to be animating this tutorial, we're not going to be talking about the animation construction mode, and we're not going to be doing any shape modeling, so we won't be talking about the shape modeling construction mode or the secondary shape modeling construction mode because we're not going to be dealing with any type of uh, morph targets or uh, shape modeling or anything like that. We're going to be focused on pure modeling here with sub D's during the course of this tutorial. Modeling construction mode, which is shown here with that lavender color, which keeps with the theme of the model main toolbar over here, is the default construction mode, and it's going to be the one that we're going to be using the whole time during this tutorial, so you don't have to worry about any other construction mode. If they become relevant, we'll talk about it. If not, there's really no point in talking about it, because it doesn't pertain to what we're going to be doing. So. Over here on the right, we have something known in XSI lingo as the MCP. The long name is Main Command Panel. The Main Command Panel has several different types of tools. Now these tools, 
range in everything from giving you the ability to move an object, rotate it, parent objects, control uh, objects in your scene, check out lists of objects in your scene. So you could go here to explore and you could check out lights in your scene. You can check out cameras. You can check out all kinds of different things in your scene. You can also check out over here a list of what's in your scene, which there's no object selected. If we had an object selected, it would pop up here in a selection box. We can check out our scene over here and see what's in our scene. Right now, by default, all we have is a camera and a default light. And then now here we have several other menus like snapping menus, constraining menus, and an edit menu down here for a few useful tools, which we're going to talk about during the duration of this tutorial. I just can't show you a practical example now. But when we get to it, you'll see how they work. It's actually very easy, and I'll make sure to take you through it step by step. So the main command panel we're going to be using a lot in XSI. Now, out of the four different interface elements I just talked about, the one we're going to use the least, well, pretty much almost never, is the construction mode menu up here. Then after that, we're going to be using the main toolbar and the main command panel over here the most. About 90% of the time in XSI, we're going to be using either one or the other. Okay, so that does it for the interface of XSI. I wanted to introduce you to some of these uh, interface elements that we're going to be using heavily and extensively during the duration of this entire tutorial. So get used to them, see where they are, because we're going to be using those uh, different interface elements a lot. Okay, so that does it for this video. I'll see you in the next video.